Hello everyone, this will be a quick guide on how to double your FPS in Journal Liberty. I know this sounds like a clickbait, but hear me out. Current frame generation technology uses AI to predict and generate frames in between two different frames. That's how you can double your FPS. This technology exists already on normal GPUs. It's called DLSS for NVIDIA or FSR for AMD. Now the big issue in Journal Liberty is that if you don't have a 40 series card NVIDIA, you can't use DLSS frame generation. If you're like me and you do large scale, you've been looking for the best settings to put your game on because during large scale, you only have 30 or 40 FPS. Well, you won't find that inside the game. What you need is an application exterior to the game called lossless scaling. Lossless scaling enables GPUs that are not 40 series NVIDIA to use frame generation technology. Now, this is hard to demonstrate how it works in a recording. What I did was cap my FPS to 30 and then I enabled lossless scaling. You can clearly see that it went from a very bad 30 FPS to 60. This is what's going to happen in your world bosses, where you probably have around 30 and 40 FPS. I would like to say that lossless scaling is a paid application. However, Steam allows you to refund games or applications if you haven't used them for more than three hours. So, if you want to invest the seven euros into this application, instead of the 700 that you would need for a 40 series NVIDIA card, you can just refund it if you see that it actually doesn't work. But I can tell you that most of my guildmates are now using this and all of us have seen good results. If you want to know more about this frame generation topic, I recommend a video that I'm going to leave on the description. It's very insightful on how it works and what are the differences between DLSS, FSR and this program you're about to buy. So let's get to the part where I teach you how to use this. It's very simple. First of all, open lossless scaling. You need to set these settings up. You can turn scaling type off because this is used to upscale or downscale two different resolutions. We're only interested on the third column, which is the frame generation one. Just copy these settings exactly like I'm showing you. Now, before you scale the application, let's fix some stuff. You want to be in borderless mode, not full screen. Otherwise, this won't work properly and you'll see a lot of stutters. You also need to cap your FPS to half of your refresh rate. Otherwise, you also might see some stutters. Finally, to minimize the amount of stutters that you might have, your FPS cap also needs to be around the level that you usually can keep 100% of the time in game. So, if you cap your FPS at 60, but you're usually playing at 30 or 40, you might see some stutters while playing. Okay, now that your in-game settings are done, open lossless scaling. You're gonna click the top right where it says scale. It will give you five seconds to go onto your Trojan Liberty window. After that, it will scale the application and you'll have double the FPS. As I've said before, the video in the description will detail exactly what the downsides of this application is, but I'll give you a summary. The video quality can sometimes be off. You won't really notice it at higher frame rates because it's too fast for your eye to perceive it. But on lower frame rates, you might notice some blurriness the other problem that you might have is a small input lag. On Tron Liberty, it doesn't matter as much because it's a top target game that doesn't require IAPM. But I wouldn't recommend this for games like PDO, FPS shooters, etc. And yes, you can use this application on other games. The most used case for this is to make old games that are stuck at 60 and 30 FPS be playable at higher frame rates. I hope this video helped you guys and I hope that you can finally play the game 
at a decent performance rate.